These are the lightest pancakes I've ever tasted. And the secret ingredient is a breakfast staple you've probably been eating for years, but not like this. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So before we get going on pancakes, we need to make some saucy berries over here. Then we'll deal with the batter later. It's really simple, just two ingredients, berries and sugar. This will work with whatever fruit you have in mind and a good amount of sugar because you want the sugar to turn into the syrup you're gonna use for your pancakes. You're not gonna need maple here. And it, the sugar kind of like scruffs up the edges of the berries, pulls out their liquid, and it turns into a delicious saucy mess pretty quickly. I can just let that hang out while we make the pancakes. Over here. Of course the secret ingredient is a lot of cheese, cottage cheese specifically. And I've seen cottage cheese pancakes before that are lovely. They add a lot of moisture and lightness to any pancake recipe. But what's especially unusual about this one is look how much cheese there is and this is how much flour there is. It's totally flipping the ratio of what you would normally see in cottage cheese pancakes or any pancakes really. So the first thing you gotta do is separate some eggs. The yolks are gonna get beaten with the cottage cheese. The whites are going to whip up and be super fluffy. This recipe comes from Sue Conley and Peggy Smith who founded Cowgirl Creamery in Northern California in the 90s. And they have been making amazing cheeses that you can now find nationwide for several decades now. And this recipe in particular comes from Sue's many years at Betty's Ocean View Diner where she made a lot of pancakes. Where they are is my favorite place in the world. They're based in Marin County, right above San Francisco. If anyone you know, wants to put me up there for vacation, Sue, Peggy. <laughs> listening. Last one. Okay. So this is why I very carefully separate eggs with my hands because the weird little shards can sometimes puncture the yolk and that way you can kind of act fast. There is one little bit of yolk here that I'm going to need to scoop out because even one little bit of yolk can ruin the party for all the egg whites. And this is the easiest way to scoop it out just in the eggshell like that. Now it's safe for whipping. All I need to do is just beat these yolks for a little bit until they're thick. All you're looking for is just a little extra thickness here. And I feel like we're pretty much there. Okay, now look at that. It's almost an entire pint of cottage cheese. So you could use cottage cheese or ricotta. We used full fat cottage cheese here and the brands can vary a little bit. Some are gonna be a little runnier, some are gonna be a little thicker. This one's nice and thick. So it's gonna work really well on these pancakes. So compared to that big bowl of cheese and eggs and good stuff, there's just a teeny tiny little bit of these dry ingredients. All purpose flour, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. And you can either sift these or just whisk it so that the flour is nice and airy and everything's all mixed together. Now, this goes in here. Wow. So since all these air bubbles are talking to me right now, I'm gonna stir as little as possible to try to keep them alive, to keep them from deflating. And this doesn't need to be mixed all the way because we're gonna be folding more, so a few lumps are fine. The base is ready. We've gotten rid of a lot of bowls in the process. All that's left is to whip these egg whites to stiff but not dry peaks. Okay, that is a stiff peak. Now we get to fold. I'm gonna start with just part of it, which helps lighten the base up and makes it easier to fold in the rest and you don't lose as many air bubbles along the way. I feel like half of the Genius recipes I've done on video with all folding. But in case you haven't seen those other recipes where I fold, it's just mixing gently from the bottom up, cutting through the middle, swooping around the sides, being very careful not to deflate all those great air bubbles that were just beaten in to the egg whites and even the egg yolks. 
The first time we tested this recipe in the test kitchen, I asked our test kitchen team to try two versions side by side. One where we whipped the egg whites and one where we didn't because I've written about a couple different genius recipes for pancakes that don't have you whip the egg whites, which is great and saves you a lot of time and you still get fluffy pancakes. But it turns out that in this recipe, you really do need to do this. And I think it's because of that tiny little amount of flour. There's just not a lot of other stuff to give structure and substance to these pancakes. So the egg whites really need to be like pulling their weight here. And again, this doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. You probably want to default to having a few lumps because as you go, as you're scooping from here, it's gonna keep deflating things. So your last few pancakes might be a little less airy. All right, I'm gonna call that good. Still got lots of air in it. Okay, so nonstick pan, very helpful. Neutral oil with a high smoke point. And I think I can get going. These are little guys, little quarter cup pancakes. Wow, the batter's so thick it's like not coming out of the thing. There we go. I mean, the thickness on this batter is truly crazy for having a half a cup of flour in it. This is embarrassing, but this recipe serves uh, four people, I think, but the other day I was testing it again and um, my husband and I ate all of the pancakes because they're so light. Also, we're both tall and also we have a four month old baby, so we're hungry people. Ooh. <laughs> because this makes such a big batch of pancakes, I usually would put this out on a rack so that the pancakes don't kind of pile up and get steamed and then put it in a low oven so that they can stay warm, but they're not kind of like stacking on top of each other and getting all sweaty. These cute, pudgy, super light pancakes get creme fraiche and our saucy berries that we made earlier. I like a lot of creme fraiche on it and a lot of these berries. It really is like eating just, it doesn't sound right, but it sounds, it's like eating nothing. The pancakes are the perfect base for this like tangy, creamy creme fraiche and the sweet tart berries on top. You could do these your own way. You could put maple on them, have fun, but try it this way first. It's just perfect. To get more genius recipes every week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next week.